There are a number of um, brain chemical messenger systems that have been implicated in bipolar disorder. Um, certainly dopamine is one. Dopamine, of course, has been implicated in any illness, well, it's been implicated in schizophrenia, which is characterized by psychosis, when people have hallucinations or delusions, kind of lose touch with reality. An important thing to know is that people with bipolar disorder can also become psychotic, either when they're manic, in which case they tend to have very grandiose sorts of delusions, or when they're depressed, in which case they tend to feel extremely badly about themselves, think that terrible things are happening in the world. So given that people with bipolar disorder can sometimes become psychotic, it's not surprising that dopamine has also been implicated in bipolar disorder. Of course, one pole of bipolar disorder is depression, and we know that serotonin has a good bit to do with the brain mechanisms of, bipolar, of, of depression. So that has also been implicated in bipolar disorder. And then recently, there's been more interest in glutamate, which is the major excitot excitatory neurotransmitter, uh, the one that makes uh, the neurons fire. And for example, there's some preliminary data using Riluzol, which is a medication which damps down glutamate, using that to try to treat bipolar disorder. So chances are that there are a number of neurotransmitter systems that are involved in bipolar disorder. It probably, ultimately, it may be hard to find one that's not, we would say. And the issue is putting all the pieces of the puzzle together.